Hello and welcome to vlog number 21. This week I'm going to talk about possible environmental causes of Parkinson's disease. My neurologist said to me that it's not known exactly what causes Parkinson's disease, but they think that there's an hereditary element and an environmental element. There's not very much we can do as far as our inherited genes go, but we can try to avoid potential environmental causes, provided we know what they are. Parkinson's disease is a chronic progressive neurological condition that is associated with the loss of dopaminergic neurons in the substantia nigra of the brain. The mechanism by which these cells are lost is unknown, but oxidative stress is thought to perform an important role in dopaminergic neurotoxicity. Oxidative stress is a process caused by free radicals. Free radicals are unstable molecules that damage or oxidise cells throughout the body. I am convinced that my Parkinson's was triggered by a sensitivity to heavy metals used in dentistry. Mercury, a potent neurotoxin, meaning that it kills brain and nerve cells, is a key component of dental amalgam. It has been proven that mercury vapour is emitted by dental amalgam in the mouth. There is no safe limit for exposure to mercury. Mercury vapour is absorbed and carried by the blood to cells in all organs of the body, where it kills cells, crosses and damages the blood-brain barrier, resulting in accumulation of mercury and other toxic substances in the brain, notably in the motor function areas of the brain and central nervous system, and generates high levels of oxidative stress. It also damages the immune system, facilitating bacterial, viral and fungal infections. Adversely affects the bacterial population of the gut, causing leaky gut syndrome, the accumulation of Helicobacter pylori, which is implicated in Parkinson's, and Candidorobicans, and affecting the absorption of nutrients. I could go on and on and on for the entire vlog about mercury and other dental metals, and perhaps I'll dedicate an entire vlog to this subject in the future. Suffice to say that dental amalgam is something to be avoided. It has been identified in a study of twins where one of the twins has PD, undertaken by the Parkinson's Institute, that solvents may be implicated in developing Parkinson's. Risk of PD was increased sixfold in people who worked with trichloroethylene, used in industry as a degreaser, and increased tenfold in those that worked with perchloroethylene and tetrachloroethylene, the most common solvents used in dry cleaning, degreasing and spot removal. We are all exposed to these solvents in the environment. Millions of pounds of them are released into the environment every year. Agent Orange is a powerful chemical herbicide used by the US military during the Vietnam War to eliminate forest cover for Vietnamese troops, as well as the destruction of crops that might be used to feed them. Veterans who developed Parkinson's disease and were exposed to Agent Orange or other herbicides during military service do not have to prove a connection between their condition and their service, which is basically accepting that these herbicides cause their Parkinson's. A huge body of evidence exists on the possible role of pesticide exposure in the development of Parkinson's, as well as other diseases. An association has been drawn between rural living and thus heightened exposure to agricultural herbicides and insecticides and Parkinson's disease. A study of groundwater pesticide levels suggested that the prevalence of Parkinson's disease is associated with increasing levels of pesticides in groundwater. Once more, I find myself apologising for only being able to scratch the surface of this subject, but if you sit yourself down with Mr Google, you will find a huge amount of information available to you. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you would like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.